Hi guys, in this video, we will uh, start a very important topic, which is the center of mass of continuous mass systems. So uh, till now we have studied the center of mass of discrete mass systems, but now uh, we will go through uh, with the center of mass of the continuous mass systems like physical masses like rod and uh, semicircular rings and discs etc. So uh, there is a simple difference between the calculation of these two and for discrete mass system uh, we have to use discrete summation which is also uh, called as summation and for this continuous mass system we have to use uh, continuous addition which is also called as integration. So the only difference between the formulas used for both of them is uh, the difference of discrete addition and continuous addition. So here we will use continuous addition for continuous, continuous mass system and continuous addition of functions is also known as integration. So the formula is, is simple which is integration of x dm upon integration dm. Obviously I would uh, apply this formula in uh, the later part and you will get to understand more precisely there. So this is ycm and this is zcm where integration of dm is the total mass of the system and this is the position vector of center of mass. Now let us uh, apply this formula for uh, the rod. So in this case this is a rod uh, whose center of mass is needed to be calculated and this rod has a negligible width. This width is negligible. This width of the rod is negligible. We can neglect it. So we can say that this rod is unidimensional and it is only uh, in the x-axis. Now to find out the coordinates of center of mass of the rod and as we all know that the mass of this rod is uniformly distributed so the center of mass of the rod should come at the middle point of the rod at this point. So this we have to prove uh, by using that formula. So we have to calculate only the x com and for that we have assumed a element which is dx you can see this and the distance of this element from the here is x. And the mass of this element dm will be equal to mass of total rod divided by length of total rod. This is mass per unit length and multiplied by the length of this element which is dx. So uh, the x coordinate of the center of mass will be equal to integration of uh, x into dm upon integration of dm. So this is equal to integration x into dm. Now dm is equal to m upon l into dx divided by the total mass of the rod is m. You can write directly this as uh, integration of dm as m. So cancelling this m with m and this is 1 by l into uh, x square by 2. The integration of x dx is x square by 2 and, and I have applied the limit from 0 to L. So 0 to L. So this is equal to L by 2. So the center of mass of this rod will be lying at a distance of L by 2 from origin which we have already discussed initially. This is COM. So this is the method to find out the center of mass of continuous mass systems and in next videos I would be uh, coming up with the different objects like semicircular ring, semicircular disc and we will calculate their center of mass. Thank you.